taking part in that. Okay, it is going to be a clear, cold Thanksgiving. And mm -hmm. up in the mountains, we rarely get to say this, they're going to open before Thanksgiving. That's yeah. right, yeah. So they've been opening up some of the, the easier chairs or the yeah. lower elevation chairs, and they're gearing up to be open for the whole weekend. You have Mount Hood Meadows, Timberline, and Mount Bachelor. All three of them are going to be opening up for the holiday weekend. Take a look at Mount Hood Meadows, and you'll see the snow that came down earlier today. It's been in and out for a lot of the afternoon, and it's just now starting to wind down. And we picked up a good four or five inches or so up there. Not as much as we'd hoped for, but still enough to get things open and going. And so they have been very busy preparing up there uh, to get things ready for you. Uh, here's a look at the radar, and we still do have some snow coming down just a little farther south. In fact, some of it getting into the Cascade foothills over that way, and then back towards Sisters up near address. It has just been pounding really all afternoon and it will continue to stay with us for probably the next couple of hours, really not winding down until the overnight hours tonight. So we could still certainly add to it. Uh, this is a live picture from Bend and you can see the snow on the streets has been on and off, but certainly several inches on the ground there. And then Siski, you pass. I wanted to show this to you. I'm going to hold on just for one second to see if it'll pop in. It's a rogue camera, but Bottom line, it's icy, there's snow, and there's also freezing fog. Here we go. Uh, it just popped up. Freezing fog developing. Look at that. That just looks like a mess. So please be careful if you're going to be doing any traveling down south along I-5 for Thanksgiving early in the morning. Uh, there's going to be some treacherous stuff there. And, of course, all through the passes, really, because we've got snow just about everywhere. Uh, 43 degrees in Portland. We're going to see a big dive in the temperatures, but we're done with the rain. And so the big deal here, we'll be watching out for some spotty black ice from some of the leftover rain on the roads. As temperatures fall below freezing tonight, overnight lows in the upper 20s to low 30s, right around 20 for Bend, Eastern Oregon, down into the low to mid 20s. The real cold arrives tomorrow. Take a look at the lows tomorrow night. We're talking mid 20s up and down I 5, down into the single digits for Bend, back towards Burns, Pendleton, only down to 12. And we're even going to be around the freezing mark for coastal areas. Thanks to that light offshore breeze and clear skies in place. And then as we wake up Friday morning, the day after Thanksgiving, we're all still stuffed. <laughs> we're going to be waking up to another cold start. So maybe we'll go and get active, hit the slopes or something, do some shopping, uh, but bundle up because it is going to be cold. It is going to be blustery from the gorge back into the valley. Uh, so you'll definitely want to layer up and get the warm weather clothes out or warmer clothes out, I should say. Rain is no forecast as we go through the evening. So everything winding down at this point. Still a little bit of snow left over parts of central Oregon as we wake up early early tomorrow morning. There still may be a few flurries around, but everything winding down, watching out for some freezing fog and even some patchy areas of black ice across parts of the valley uh, as we wake up tomorrow morning. Eastern areas, still a few scattered snow showers in the morning. By the time we get through Wednesday afternoon, everything is looking nice and clear. If you're headed east uh, back towards Idaho or Montana, you're probably going to run into some snow. So just a heads up there. Uh, the tricky travel continues farther east. So your forecast now for your Wednesday, lots of sunshine up and down I-5, blustery, chilly, highs in the low 40s, lows again down to the 20s. Central Oregon, we're clearing out the clouds and the snow, 23 in Bend, that's the high. And then Eastern Oregon, highs in the 20s, with again, still some leftover snow uh, as we go through the early part of the afternoon there. Thursday, Thanksgiving. Highs in the low to mid-40s, a lot of sunshine around, and then we're topping out below freezing east of the Cascades in many areas. So a cold turkey for us today, or for Thanksgiving. And then Friday, mid-40s and then 20s east of the Cascades, but wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, and we will see dry conditions all throughout the weekend. Chilly, blustery, dry conditions. Here's a look at your forecast for Portland. Uh, clear skies in the morning, sunny skies for the afternoon. Temperatures fall very quickly tomorrow night once the sun sets. Down into the mid-20s, mid-20s Again, Thursday night, Friday 20. So Black Friday shopping, uh, those winds are going to be cranking from the north northeast through the gorge. So bundle up. You know, whenever it, it's that windy, it makes yes. it even tougher to stay warm. It stays that way through early next week, really. I was out and about a lot this morning, running errands and all that. This is mm -hmm. all anybody is talking about, sure. especially the cold. And I think it's kind of exciting. Well, I'm going to Bend. It gets you in the Christmas snow. mood. Yeah, it really does. And, and so now you're going to be in Bend. And yep. it's going to be beautiful. It's snowing there right now. It's snowing right now. I can't wait. I'm not. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to do the Santiam Pass for out though. I've heard Probably from not. so many people there. This don't go that way yeah. to go up. Mm -hmm. Instead, so I don't know. Be careful if any if for any of you traveling around because those passes, even up towards the coast range, yeah. they're covered in snow too. So it's be prepared. all around. Listen mm -hmm. to Kristen. Yeah. And one wreck, and that's the other thing they were talking about in Santiam. One wreck, and it could set you back right. hours. Yeah. yeah. So okay. good advice. Thank yeah. you, dear. Okay, listen, 